Hello YouTube, my name is Daniel and welcome back to another video. In this video I am going to be adding a light theme to my Android Jetpack Compose music streaming app. This is a music streaming app using Firebase. If you want to check out the entire tutorial series, I'll leave the link in the description of how you can build this project. So for the light theme, I've just gone ahead and added a white background and a orange um, primary color. So this will switch over dynamically whenever the setting is changed in settings. So at the moment I'm set to dark theme, and if I switch over to light theme and go back to the app, it will automatically change to my light theme. As you can see, this primary color has changed to this orange color, and we have a white background. The loading icon has also changed, so we have an orange color, and the UI is exactly the same, it's just using our light theme. To get started on the light theme, first off, we need to add this day object, which is a theme colors class, and that is in the color.kt file in the theme directory. So we have a background color, which is white, a surface color, which is white, the primary color, which is this orange color, and a text color, which is black. All of the values will be in the GitHub repository, which I will link in the description. After you've added the theme colors, you need to go into the theme file under the theme directory, and you need to add the light color scheme. In the light color screen, you need to pass in the primary color, the on primary color, the surface color, and the background color. And you get this from the light colors class that you created in the previous file, which is called day. So in the day object, you need to access that in the theme file using theme colors day. And then you can use the values here for primary text, surface and background. This should also be light colors and not dark colors. Now to add the theme to your app, you need to modify the theme composer, so jukebox compose theme, and this needs to take a parameter, which is a boolean, and it will use a system method, which is is system in dark theme. And if it is, we will use the dark theme, and if it isn't, we will use the light theme. And that is added here in the material theme. And if you want to see what this method is checking, you can use control and click and control and click on the underscore internal method here and we can see it is accessing the local configuration current UI mode and it's checking if the UI mode is equal to night mode. Now once you've updated the theme file that is pretty much all you need to do to get the theme work on the app. There's only one other small change which is the status bar. So to change the status bar we need to go to our theme file in our XML directory. So you need to go to your res folder and then to values and then to themes. You need to remove the status bar color from here. So this will look like item name status bar. So you need to remove that. And this also needs to be removed from the dark theme as well. So to access that it will be themes.xml brackets night. And you can then go ahead and remove that from this theme here. And in your main activity, in the on resume, we need to check whether dark mode or light mode is being used. And that is done here. So firstly, here we are checking um, whether the UI mode configuration is equal to night mode, no. And that means we're gonna provide a white status bar. And if it is, we're going to provide a black status bar for the dark theme. In order to have this method, you will need to make sure your minimum SDK is set to 28, and that can be done by going to the build.gradle file and selecting 28 here, and that will allow you to use that method. And once you've added this method to your on resume in the main activity, we just need to update some of our composables to use the correct colors. So firstly, in the loading screen, we need to make sure that the color of the text is set to material theme colors on primary. 
So it uses the black color if it's set to light theme and the white color if it's set to the dark theme. The next thing we need to update is in the player screen. For the player, in the text composable, we also need to make sure it's using material theme.colors.on primary. And in our title composable, we also need to add that as well. So material theme.colors.on primary. And that will be everything you need to start using the light theme and dark theme in the music player app. Have it switch over dynamically. So I'm just going to show you this again. I'm currently in light mode. And if I go back to the settings page and change it to dark theme and go back to the app, it will dynamically switch over and show the app in dark theme and we'll still be on the same page. So I'm going to end this video here, guys. If you have any questions, please post them down in the comments. Please like the video and please subscribe.